Hi, it's Bishop Bob. Glad to be with you again. Uh, today I want to talk to you about cultivating your giftings in the Spirit. You know, Leviticus 26, 7, 8 says, If you will pursue your enemies, they will fall by the sword before you. Five of you will chase a hundred, and a hundred of you will chase ten thousand, and your enemies will fall by the sword before you. Now, this year's annual conference theme is cultivating your giftings in the Spirit. It's also the challenge for all TMCI around the world for this year. God has gifted us all with special gifts to further God's kingdom. But please note that we're not gifted so that we can build our reputation or our ministry, but to increase the kingdom of God. You know, the above scripture uh, just challenges me. You know, our society gives great honor to what they call the self-made man. The person who, through much effort on his part, single-handedly reaches his goal. But if you look at their lives, the self-made men, will, you'll find that they have had people around them that have helped them. God's will is that people are not lone rangers. Jesus sent out the disciples two by two. See, we need each other, as Paul outlines in 1 Corinthians 12, 14, and 20. This is what it says, Now the body is not made up of one pot, but many. If the foot should say, Because I am not the hand, I am not, do not belong to the body, would not for that reason cease to be part of the body? If the ear should say, Because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of smell hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has arranged the parts of the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. And if they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. We all have various gifts, but no one person has all the gifts. Jesus was the only one that operated in all the gifts. You know, one of the mistakes people make is that instead of looking to the gifts that God has given them, they look to the ones they don't have. I remember complaining to God uh, when I was becoming an interim pastor. You know, I know you would never complain to him. But I was complaining because I was replacing a pastor who was a dynamic preacher and operated in the spirit with power. He would paint a picture on the wall with his words. And so there I was early Sunday morning praying, but in reality complaining that I had not the gifts the former pastor had. Then the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Who preached on the day of Pentecost and 3,000 got saved? And I said, Of course, Peter. He says, But the Spirit said, No, I did it through Peter, the same Holy Spirit that's in you. Now stop complaining and do what I called you to do, and let me operate through you. You know, the other mistakes we make is to try to work on the gifts we don't have and neglect the ones we do have. You know, we should try to refine and to perfect the gifts God has put in us by reading the Bible and seeing through Scripture how they're used, and also to uh, join in with other mature Christians who are operating the same gifts. Become an Elijah to that person. Remember, Elijah did not start his mission, but Elijah trained and spoke into his life. So when we need gifts that we don't have, reach out to those people that have the gifts and join them with your gifts. Your gifts then will bless them, and their gifts will bless you. You know, when Barnabas was sent to Antioch in Acts 11, he saw that they needed more than an encourager. So they needed a strong teacher. So he went what got Paul. And together they ministered to the people. So it, it's like the TMCA partnership with Life School in uh, Africa. Life School helps train uh, church people and to plant other churches. They have the people in the curriculum. So we help them and they in turn help us by training our TMCI Liberian churches in the kingdom of God is advanced. This coming year is a year of divine appointments, I feel. 
Last year, God called us out to be his no-name army. This year, I believe he wants the allies together in force that will attack and take territory back from the enemy. I believe that there are areas in this country and throughout the world that God wants to use you and other TNCI ministries to take ground and overcome the enemy by helping each other with our giftings. My pledge to you is that if you're interested in doing something special in your geographic area of ministry, I'll put you in touch with other TMCI ministries in your area and also help organize the event. If you want to do something special internationally, let us know what the area of the world that you want to minister in, and we'll put you in touch with TMCI ministries in that area. Now it's time for us not only to look to our ministry, but to also see how we can work with others to make a bigger difference. We need to help each other solidify the victory by making disciples of new converts and then making sure the territory gate is solidified before moving on to gain more ground. Now what do I mean by that? Too many times we think we have the victory only to lose it because we did not follow through and solidify the ground. Let's look at David and Goliath. You know, David threw the stone that fell Goliath. He had knocked Goliath out, but he had not defeated him completely until he went and took Goliath's sword and cut off his head. Then he had the complete victory. Too many Christians throw a knockout punch and walk away thinking they have a victory, but they only want a battle, not a victory. So we need to follow through, solidify the ground, and only then move on. How do we do that? By making converts into disciples of Christ, then releasing them for ministry to help us take more ground from the enemy. So I encourage you today to have a shift in your ministry thinking, to ask yourself, whom can I connect with to make a bigger difference in my ministry area? I do not feel God has called us to be Lone Rangers, but to unite our ministry with others in the area of ministry to make a bigger impact on the world. So that's my prayer for you. Go forth, unite, and build the kingdom of God with other brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's move on forward together. You'll be blessed. By the way, I want to remind you that the annual conference is September 23rd to 25th in Lancaster, South Carolina. I pray that you'll join me either in person or by the web. We just look forward to seeing God move in a very special way at the annual conference. This month's uh, recommended book uh, is The Coming Ship by Larry Randolph. You'll be blessed. We'll probably be talking to you the next time. Thanks so much for watching TMCI TV. If you found any benefit in this episode, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our future videos. If you are interested in planning a church, starting a ministry, or looking for 501c3 tax exemption status for your existing church or ministry, TMCI can help. Click the link in the description below for more information. We look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless.